So by now, all of us have probably heard that Bloxburg is becoming free in the future. Well, this has gotten a lot of people um, very worried and concerned. And I had a live stream talking about this and I asked you guys, should I build a bunker in Bloxburg? Was answered with a lot of yeses. So in today's video, we are going to be building a bunker for when Bloxburg becomes free. We have to be prepared. Actually, this is just for you guys. I am totally fine with Bloxburg becoming free, but this is for you. You know, if you want to protect yourself. So this is what we're gonna do. So I did some research. You basically just need somewhere to eat, sleep, and poop. So this house is gonna be on a hill. I'm not gonna build an entire house. I mean, obviously y'all are gonna have your own house. I'm just gonna build like a little makeshift fake house in a way. Okay, so there's our little house layout. I'm just gonna stick some floor here. And then we need to choose where we want our bunker. I'm gonna put it over here. So I'm just gonna put some flooring here, go to the doors. Never mind, not the doors. Wait, where are the little... Wait, what are they called? Are they in... Huh, wait. Oh my gosh, what are they called? Oh my gosh, what's the wooden thing that people have for like tornadoes? I don't live in a place that has tornadoes. I live in California. <laughs> Although there was that one time in San Diego where there was almost a tornado. I did hear about that. That's a little scary. Cellar doors makes it sound like a winery. Oh, I could place it just on the floor? Okay, well, I'm getting rid of that. So now what I'm gonna do is place flooring all around my house just to make it grassy, I guess. I, I don't know. I must say the house is kind of cute. It's like small, but cute. Hang on. No, that's actually cute. I hate when the line goes through it like this. It drives me crazy. Okay, anyways, this is our little house. Okay, so then we need oh we're gonna need steps up to the house then aren't we wait I didn't think this through. Okay, hang on. All right We have our little house on a hill right here. Honestly, it turned out pretty cute I really like the colors. I am not going to the inside, but it is it is pretty adorable I think the size is quite nice. So if you guys want to copy it, that's that's the house pretty easy to copy So now we're gonna go up these hills and over here We have our little area which you could lock for guests which means you are safe But if we open it we have just like that doom space right there so we have one floor to work with and then we have a basement as well. So we have two floors to work with here. Let's build our bunker. So I do have a list of some ideas and I was actually asking you guys about one of them. I didn't know if plants could grow in sunlight. Or, what was it? I didn't know if plants could grow in the dark or not because you know how we have the solar panels? Those only work in the light. So like, what about the plants? Can plants be grown in a basement? And then I realized that's a little sus. Um, That's not what I meant. We have to be able to live, you know? So gotta build a little growing area. Oh, that still sounds really bad. So my thought is we can do stairs or we can do a ladder. I'm kind of feeling stairs. Let's do, let's do stairs. I feel like stairs just looks a little bit neater. So I'm just gonna use this right here and I'm just gonna resize it. Boom, we've got our stairs. And then I'm gonna block this off a little bit. So not everything is gonna be the bunker. Okay, so here is the first floor. Maybe this way. This might be a good spot. And then it just goes down like this. Oh, but you literally walk into a wall. Hang on, wait. No, this will work. This, mm, no, this will work. Okay, so I made the layout. We have the first floor and then we have the second floor. So the second floor is gonna be more like the living space, I guess, because you know, if, if there's like a noob coming to your house and they happen to get into your little bunker, it's gonna take them a little bit longer to get down here and walk over here to where you're sleeping. Hello there. So for safety reasons, the living space is gonna be on the second part. But this upstairs part, this room over here, we're gonna start on first. This is going to be the camp camera area. So we're gonna put cameras all around the house to keep an eye on everything. Make sure we're not getting broken into or, you know, there's not an apocalypse coming near us. So we're gonna start off with an office desk. Also, I'm gonna make this kind of like sci-fi like. So I have some glass here and then I'm gonna add some glass right here. Let's do that right now, actually. I wanna use these big windows, but I wanna make sure I get a door in there first because I don't wanna forget that. Let's do this tall glass door. All right, I think that looks kind of neat. Little glass area. Although, you know what? Let's delete, oh, not the whole wall. Let's delete the win- No, not the wall. Let's get us a chair. I'm thinking just a regular office chair and then I'm gonna face this forward. We're gonna put, oh wait, I actually have some nicer computers. At least I should. Maybe I don't? Oh wait, oh, I don't have the cool one. Okay, I don't have the one with three monitors, but I do have this one. So we're just gonna go with that. I'm gonna move this forward a little bit. I think we can put some cabinets up behind and I want to use the modern cabinets because they're very sleek, you know? They look kind of office-like. I don't know, I like the look of it. Here we go, we have some office cabinets that um have no roll. They're just there. <laughs> Um, I say we put a couple of TVs maybe. Ooh, let's use these. 
Oh, I can't put it on like on a corner. I thought I could like turn these. I guess you can't. That kind of sucks. It's okay. I'll do a couple of these like that. And then we should probably put a table under here, like a console of some sort. This industrial one, maybe? This can be like a folder area or maybe I type in desk. Oh yeah. Okay. So we can put some files here. The way that spun was so satisfying. Can we just get a replay on that? Some files. We can have some of those little storage thingies. Wait, why does the spinning tool seem smoother all of a sudden? That's weird. Now it's not doing it. Okay, it's fine. I say we put a picture frame. You know, maybe they have a, a family or something. And then we can have a mug here. They're working hard. They're making sure everything is safe. Oh, I forgot there was a smiley face in the cup. It's so cute. A little scary, but it's cute. Ah, uh, we can't forget a fake plant. In a bunker, I'm sure there's plenty of fake plants. So here we go. All right, that's our little like desk space. So we have a lot of extra room, which I did not take account for. Um, What if I put counters back here? What would it even look like? Oh, I kind of like it. It fills up some more space. All right, all right. We can put some wire baskets here. All right, got some baskets. Baskets. We'll put some paper in one. We're gonna do like a little setup here. So this is gonna be cork. There we go. We can put some of those tape pictures here. My friend Mochi said to do like one of those graphs where you have like the red string and stuff. So I'm gonna do that. So we're gonna pull up our string here, ordinary string, and we're gonna place some, some stuff here and then turn it red. There we go. We'll add some pictures later. Don't forget our sticky notes. All right, all right. Looking good, looking good. I say we put a window at the top. I think that'd be kind of cool. Cool. Dredge that. Ooh, okay, it's a little off center. But other than that, this looks kind of neat. Oh, wait, we need lighting. What type of lighting's in a bunker? Probably the lonely light bulbs, right? Make it kind of ominous. There's not enough light at all. It's not really sci fi, but it kind of works. One on each side. Okay, that actually looks really cool. I think we should put a camera in this room as well. I'll put the cameras in all the other rooms when we're done. But I do want to put cameras in this room as well because what if they're on the cameras, but then like they're not checking on themselves? So, like this is a way oh wait no not me thinking realistically okay so no no no. if you're looking at the cameras you're not gonna pay attention to like your surroundings oh why am i going inside but like in real life you would see all of your surroundings but i'm talking more specifically blocksburg when you go to use the security cameras you can't see yourself so this is how you would see yourself that is so spooky i kind of like it i like this this is cool next up we need a plant area i'm thinking we put the plants here so i'm thinking we start with some counters and we use the commercial counter and this is gonna be kind of like a workspace type of thing. This is like the, the test area in a way, but it's also gonna have plants. So we're gonna get the storage here and we're gonna grab one of the new items. We have the wire metal shelf. The height is literally perfect with this window. I love it. So now we gotta put like plants on here. I'm thinking we do some of those vine plants because the overgrown type of look I think would be really neat here. So we got some overgrown plants. Oh, we should do we should do the grass plant. Grass? Is grass edible like for people? Wait, let's look it up. I'm curious. We got to look this up. While all grasses are technically edible, unlike ruminant animals, we don't do very well digesting grass. We would have some unpleasant digestive issues. I already get enough of that, so I'm good. I'm good. This is just gonna have the potted plants, but there's gonna be one of growing plants too. And I'm not even gonna bother coloring these because I, I don't know, I feel like the, the colors look pretty decent together. Do some cacti, humble plants, potted snake plant. There we go, we got our first little area. So then this part back here is gonna be counter as well. And then I'm just gonna do a couple different versions. Okay, this is looking pretty cool actually. And then I'm just gonna grab these shelves. These are really expensive, but I'm just gonna use them here too. So we're gonna do that. And then I wanna get a couple of the wire shelves here and place those. This is the testing lab, you know? Actually, if it's a lab, it should probably have windows too, right? So let's make this a lab where it's got windows. Oh, you know what this is kind of giving? It's giving the Maple Hospital hunt badge. It really is. So this is the test lab. Then we're also gonna have a growing area right here. I think that's the plan. So I'm gonna need more of those wire shelves. I feel like the wire shelves look so good in this one. So let's do that. There we go, we got some wired shelves here. All right, let's go back to this. I wanna add like jars and like glass. Like, I don't know how to explain it. Just like, I want it to look kind of like a lab, but we don't have a lot of lab items yet. I'm hoping we get some like chemistry sets and stuff. I feel like if we got a school, I want like items beforehand, you know, like that we can use. 
to make our own schools and stuff and it just it works for this type of stuff too because they gotta take note on everything you know i think they should also have a tv to keep an eye on stuff why doesn't the tv go in a corner they thought we could it's fine i can make a makeshift one watch this guys big brain moment transform plus boom straight in the corner okay now this is kind of given like jurassic park it's kind of looking like that yeah so maybe they're like they're studying some of these plants like maybe to see if like they'll grow more or if they can use it a certain way maybe i'm just like making things up as i go but i'm i'm picturing this like what i would see in a movie type of thing okay this is looking kind of cool this spot over here needs some love though so let's do that um i want to put a plant here but like i don't i do but i don't mm, i'm gonna do it i'm gonna do it i like the green it makes me happy and you know if you're in a bunker all the time you kind of you want stuff that's gonna make you happy so plants it is. I do want to get some more books though. Ooh, we have these new books. I totally forgot about those. I normally don't like these types of books because they're a little busy for my liking, but they work in this because it's like techy, you know? And then more glass. I feel like we need more glass stuff. Like glass looks good. We can put some flowers in the vases, flower studies, you know? And then we can use these glass paintings. I'm gonna grab this wire thing right here, add that. We do have this square glass bowl. I'm not exactly sure what it does, but let's just place it for extra clutter. I feel like there's always a lot, you know, in stuff like this. I know these are for kitchens, but they can also look like, maybe it's like, oh, what are they called? The little flower food that comes with like a bouquet of flowers. That's the powder. That's the powder, it's, it's nothing else. It's nothing else. Not what you think it is. Would that look cool? Oh, look at that lighting. Um, okay. I think that's good for that room. And then this is gonna be our foods and stuff. I wanna use like actual foods that we can actually harvest. I think that would be super cool. Um, like I was saying, I don't know if these will actually grow or not in the darkness in Bloxburg. I don't know how realistic that type of stuff works with this. Panters. Let's see if we can grow some stuff in here. Oh my gosh, it works. Okay, cool. Let's place some of those. No, don't like that. <laughs> I don't want to make custom things. I'm rethinking my existence one second. Do I really have to make fake planters? I guess I have to. There's no other way around this. That sucks. Okay, it's fine. We will figure it out. Look, I can duplicate it. So I'm just going to do that on every single piece. I'm going to delete this shelf. There we go. We have our little gardening space. So now I can do all my onions. Ogres are like onions. Onions have layers. Ogres have layers. You get it. This is so much better. I think they need to be more spaced out. Look at that. I'm sorry. Is that not perfect? I can't duplicate the onions. No, no, everything's fine. Our carrots. Oh my goodness. It's so cute. These blueberries are too big. I gotta get rid of those. We can do mushrooms. We could just pretend they're like the edible ones. Oh, that sounds even worse. Oh, that's not what I meant. I mean like the mushrooms you can cook with and nothing else. Spider plants. Ooh, okay. That's all the small ones we have. So I guess I'll just do another thing of onion. Maybe I'll do it over here. No, I'll do it over here. A little more realistic when they're closer together. Okay, and then I'll just get rid of these top pieces. Here we go, some little planters. I think this works. I love all the new plants they gave us. They're so pretty. Honestly, I don't think I need to color any of this. I don't think it's really needed for the build. Like nothing really needs to be colored except a few things need to be colored, but like not much. I just realized these all need water. Um, I'm not gonna place sprinkles down. Sprinkles? I'm not gonna place sprinkles. <laughs> Oh my god, I almost said it again. I'm not gonna play sprinklers down. I don't think I really need- Not enough space. Okay, screw you, watermelon. You're not gonna be used. F you're on my nerve. This might work. Let me see if I can place stuff in here. Hurrah! Okay, let's place some more strawberries because these are actually very easy to place. I feel like this kind of needs walls too. Let's put some walls here. This is pretty cool. I think some dirt piles on the ground could be cute too. Make it look a little messy. Oh, I can put a little dirt pile here too. There we go. Oh, a watering can. That's what I was gonna do. Add some industrial pipes. Oh yeah, we have this one. Attach it. There we go. Oh, I wonder how they would water all their stuff if they can't access water. I don't, that, mm. I don't know. But we do have some barrels. So we can pretend that the barrels are water, I guess. Put some barrels here. Looking a little hazardous, but you know, it does the job. So there we go. It's giving lab rats. Not me talking about lab rats once again. Wait, I like it with all the glass. This looks so cool. Now I have all this dead space. So what do I do with 
this. Everything else is basically downstairs. I guess I can do like a, a dining area or like a, a meeting table so they can discuss everything, you know? I think that's pretty important. I'm gonna do this one and I'm gonna change it to metal. Oh. Oh yeah, this looks cool. So the meeting area is gonna be in the center. My friend was also saying to add a map of Bloxburg. So I'm gonna hope that we have a map of Bloxburg in the decal area. Oh, what's this? It's a map of Bloxburg. It works, it works. You know, since this is their meeting area, someone's gotta be taking notes. They've got their pen. I think some, some mugs, open book. Put a table here with something. A bag. Some crates like that. Yeah, 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 this this looks good. And I was gonna make this all metal. So that is our first floor. Now we have to do more of like the living area. It's so hard for me to do commentary when I'm building. I always forget to talk. Like I'm so dedicated and focused that I just, I don't think. Plus I'm tired, so that doesn't help either. So this is the bottom floor. So this is gonna have the kitchen, the bedroom, bathroom. This is gonna be the workout room because you have to stay fit, you know? You gotta you gotta be able to run away from the noobs. I'm gonna do the dumbbell weights. Let's place some weights on the ground. There's the bench press. Oh, the squat rack. I forgot about that. Back here is gonna be the squat rack. Which way is facing correct? I think that's the right way. Never used one. Oh, there's the exercise bike. I forgot about that one too. Tight workout area, but it'll have to do. No, that just gets in the way. No, this squat rack's too big. It's too big. I gotta move some things around. Oh, we need a punching bag to punch off all the noobs. That's good. That's good. Next up is the bathroom because it doesn't take very long. I'm guessing there would be multiple people working here. So I'm going or living, surviving, I guess. I'm going to use these showers right here and I'm just going to place this, I guess. Although I do have quite a bit of space here. I don't really need this much. So maybe I can extend this a little bit. This can be a hallway. Move the showers like this. That could work. And then these can be the toilets. This will make much more sense. Here is how I make my bathrooms. Very easy. I just use those, grab the fence gate, and then I slap that on. And it looks like the little doors in, in bathrooms because it's got like the little gap underneath. Also, American bathrooms have huge gaps in their, their toilet stalls. And it's ridiculous. Like, what is that big gap needed for? Why not just give us more privacy? It's not that hard. This is going to be the bunk beds. There's quite a few people living here. So gotta make sure there's enough space for everybody. That'll have to do. This doesn't look very welcoming. I mean, it's a bunker. You're just here to survive. Kind of makes me a little uncomfortable. <laughs> Maybe it's because of all the sharing of the showers and sharing the same room. Now that I have the bedroom and the bathroom area, we need a kitchen and food storage, which we have plenty of. So I'm just gonna duplicate this whole table though. This is gonna be our dining room. Oh, oh, this is a little scary. <laughs> not sure how I feel about this. For the kitchen, I'm not gonna do anything crazy. We literally just need like a fridge a sink. We need a stove. Counters. I'm just going to grab a whole cabinet here. We can put a microwave in that one. Cabinets here. One there. Also, I am so curious about like all of the conspiracies that go on with like celebrities owning bunkers. I've kind of seen some stuff, although it was on social media, so I don't know if it's like true or not. But if it is true and a bunch of people have like bunkers and whatnot, kind of weird. Like why do these people have bunkers? Was it just as a write-off? Like, like why do you have a bunker? <laughs> You know what I mean? Have a couple of those. I don't like having cabinets over sinks. It bothers me. Ugh. Then I have this gap over here. You know what I'm gonna do with this gap? I'm gonna place a wall here, okay? And I'm just gonna place a wall like this. Boom, gap resolved. Don't have to deal with it anymore. I think we're done. Let's see. So we have our house. You could totally make a, a bedroom out of this. Why did I say bedroom? Oh my gosh, I'm so tired. It's a house. I'm gonna give you a layout for those who want to actually make this a house because it's pretty cute. So what you're gonna do, there you go. That's your bedroom. Next up, this is your bathroom. Now you have your kitchen, your living room, entrance area, little starter home. So nobody can come in when Bloxburg is free. And then you just come down here and you close it on your way down. Up first, you have your, oh my gosh, wait. Oh my gosh, wait. I forgot more cameras. So now you have your special area. Yes, I did not color anything in here, but honestly, it kind of works except for that pink picture frame. That looks weird. There's one thing we do have to deal with though. I looked up Susan because I thought we'd put a picture here, but I'm just going to put this one. That's Susan. Okay, guys, that is Susan. They have their, their family, you know, while they're working at their desk. So now we can keep an eye on all of the stuff going on in the bunker. So here we are. We can see the downstairs. See the upstairs? I can see myself over here. I feel like that looks really neat. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, it's kind of creepy looking. I like it. Oh my gosh, wait, I should I should put a camera up here. Here we go. We got an outside one. Look at that view. Look at that. And then we also have the one outside. So now you can see if someone is near your bunker. Next up, we have the little testing area to kind of learn your plants and stuff 
what you can reproduce to get more food. And then over here we have our growing area so you can eat food. I guess everyone just has to be a vegetarian now. And then we have our map of Bloxburg. This is where you can have your meetings to decide where to go next to avoid all the noobs. And then down here we have our kitchen, we have our dining, and then we have our bathrooms right here. We have our showers. Oh, that's a little blinding. Oh, I should have put mirrors here. Oops. And then we have our sleeping arrangements, which is very, very bright as well. And then we have, of course, our gym. This is giving movie plot, you know, I kind of like it. So yeah, that is our bunker in Bloxburg. Feel free to copy it if you need a bunker of your own. But that is it for today's video. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys next time.